Hey, what is up guys? This is Danny from DoTech. In today's video, I have some new information to share it with you guys. So last night, the 10.3, they just got released. That's mean if you update to 10.3, you're gonna be forget a little bit and that's a little bit tricky i'm gonna be explain that later on the video basically if you want to stay on the 10.2.1 is gonna be better for you and i'm gonna be explaining most of the thing about that in today's video the other thing that i'm gonna be showing you guys if you stay on the 10.2.1 i'm gonna be showing you guys how to prevent or how you can disable any update and keep your device on save waiting till you jailbreak your device all those things that i'm gonna be talking about it in today's video and i'm gonna be showing you guys uh, most those things share some information about the look at the disco he just tweeted last night about some things about the jailbreak community so all those things i'm gonna be talking with you guys in today's video stay tuned Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to be talking with you guys about it, as I say, the 10.3 just got released last night. So if you want to update your device to 10.3, you might lose the chance to jailbreak your device in the future. So this is the first thing. The other thing that I'm going to be talking with you guys about it, look at the disco. He just tweeted last night and then he just talking about something and the one of from the things that as you guys can see right now he, he just says to save the bubbles and then you have to be currently if you want to jailbreak to stay on the 10.2.1 and then the other thing that i'm really sad about it that he says i'm done with jailbreaking so it might somebody is going to be work on the next jailbreak which i'm going to be talking here about the 10.2.1 if my tango team is going to be working on it or somebody else no information yet about anything jailbreak the 10.2.1 there is nothing yet and uh, i will be making sure to post any new information about the 10.2.1 jailbreak devices at this time at that moment there is nothing yet anything the only thing that the only tweet from look at the disco which is going to be from a last night he said to make sure to save the bubbles and then you have to stay if you want to jailbreak your device you have to stay on the 10.2.1 because you will be have a chance to jailbreak your device it's better than to update to 10.3 so if somebody wants to jailbreak his device in the near future, I don't know when, as I said, you have to stay on 10.2.1. It's better than to update your device to 10.3. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to be talking with you guys about it, what about if you already update your device to 10.3 and, and what about you if you want to downgrade your device from 10.3 to 10.2.1? Still, you have the chance. I'm going to be showing you guys right now how you can downgrade your iDevice from 10.3 to 10.2.1. Okay, so in order to downgrade your iDevice, you need to download the IPA file from the website. So this is the best website to do that. And I'm going to be leave the link for you guys in the description below if you want to use it. And once you just open the website, first of all, you need to choose your product. So I'm going to be uh, press here on my iPhone. And then here you can choose uh, the what kind of iPhone that you use. So after you choose your product or after you choose the iPhone that you use, as you guys can see here that we have two softwares available right now, which is the 10.3 and then 10.2.1. And then you have to just keep on mind because this is going to be a little bit tricky. Apple, when they release a new software, that the second one will be down like six to seven days. So you might, you need to hurry up if you just keep in your mind that you want to jailbreak your device in the near future so as you guys can see here we have red files here and then we have two green here that's mean those down is not working anymore and then the green one which is it's available right now so you can simply download the file that you want and then you can use your itunes to downgrade your device and i'm going to be showing you guys in a second how is that going to be work so if you choose the 10.2 simply just click on the 10.2 and then after that go here and then download the file i already before i make the video i download the file which is this one here so the easy way always when you download the file and then you want to downgrade your i device to keep that file on your desktop so you will be having access easily from the desktop 
Okay, so after you download the file, you need to connect your iDevice with USB cable, and then you need to make sure to connect that with your iTunes using your computer. Okay, so right now it's getting to be a little bit tricky, so you have to pay attention for that. So right now, as you guys can see, as far as I'm still on the 10.2.1, iTunes here tell me to update my device so make sure to be far away from that because what we're going to be do right now it's messing with the update here so you have to pay attention for that that's if your iDevice still on the 10.2.1 it will be show up as an update here if your device it's on the 10.3 it will be telling you here check for an update so i'm gonna be showing you guys let me just set that phone here right now and i'm gonna be telling you guys what to do right now so if you in order to downgrade right now uh you need to reach the file that you already download which is right now on your desktop so if you are a windows uh, user you need to make sure to hold your shift key and press on the update here and that is going to be bring that page here so you can have an access on your desktop and then you can get the file that i already downloaded from the website that i shown you guys so simply right now you can click on the file and then the down the downgrade will be start automatically okay so the second thing if you are a mac user so simply you need to hold the option key and then click on update or click on check for update so once you because i don't want to mess around with my with my ios right now as you guys can see i'm already still on the 10.2.1 and i don't want to mess with that but i'm just showing you guys the steps about how you can downgrade from if you update your device this is the way how you downgrade from the 10.3 to 10.2.1 Okay, so as I show you guys how to downgrade your iDevice from the 10.3 to 10.2.1. So right now you have another thing. That What about if you want to prevent or disable any kind of update on your iDevice? So the first thing that you need to go to settings, general, and then after that, as you guys can see, if I check on my update, it says that is an update available. If I by mistake right now, download or install the new update it might i'm gonna be lost the chance to jailbreak my device so i'm gonna be go back here i'm gonna be go back showing you guys again what i'm gonna be do go to settings general you need to scroll down till you see the storage and icloud usage you need to go to manage storage here and then you will be find a file and you will be find a file here in the top says ios 10.3 delete that file if you didn't find the file it's okay just go back go back press the home button you need to go back to your safari using your safari browser and you will be find the link in the description below copy and paste that link that i'm going to be leave it and you have to make sure you use that link with your safari browser as you guys can see paste that link here after you press on ok you will be see that beta here application will be pop up on your screen all what you need to do just hit install here and then another install install here and after that you need to just press on the restart button here so basically what you need to do right now you need to just wait a little bit till your device will be reset reboot again okay so after the your I device was reboot and you have you need to make sure everything is fine so you hit back on the settings and then you scroll down till you see the general if you go back again to check on the software update it will be says your device it's holding on the ios 10.2.1 and that case right now that step right now your keep your device safe for the next uh, future update and this is how is that going to be work so that's how you can downgrade your device from the 10.3 to uh, 10.2.1. I don't know if Pingo team is going to be working on the newest jailbreak for the 10.2.1. But if you're waiting for the next jailbreak, as look at the disco he says uh, from last night's uh, tweet, you have to just save your bubbles and then 
if you want to jailbreak your device you have to stay on the 10.2.1 to jailbreak your device that's pretty much it what i have for you guys in today's video most information that i just uh push it to you guys so i'm i'm hoping you guys like today's video if you like today's video please just like always give it a big thumbs up subscribe for my channel for more videos and i see you guys in the next video with that time peace